Joining the High Commissioner and urging the Council's member states to demonstrate leadership on environmental justice, ISHR urges the Council to respond urgently to the environmental crisis as well as to the repeated calls by diverse states and civil society by recognizing the right to a safe, clean, healthy and sustainable environment and by establishing a new special rapporteur on climate change at this session. The Council should also recognize the critical role of environmental defenders in addressing climate change and safeguarding biodiversity, contribute to their hands protection, and pursue accountability against those state and non-state actors who attack and kill defenders. Also a matter of priority at this session is the Council must establish a fact-finding mission on Afghanistan to regularly report on to collect evidence of violations and abuses committed across the country by all parties. We take note of the High Commissioner's update that no progress has been made for meaningful access to Xinjiang. ISHR reiterates its calls for OCHR and the High Commissioner to ensure public monitoring and reporting on the situation are undertaken with the full engagement of civil society. We look forward to the Office's publication of its assessment of evidence of serious violations in China. This will be a critical first step for future concrete actions that respond to the demands of victims, their families and communities, and others defending human rights. Finally, the Council should take stock of Nicaragua's repression against defenders in any form of dissent ahead of the November 7 elections. ISHR and 12 rights groups have recently concluded that the government has taken no steps to implement Resolution 46-2. As set in the resolution and stressed by the High Commissioner, this Council should consider all measures. This should include the creation of an international accountability mechanism. Thank you, Madam President.